The tornado storm, or the tornadic storm rather, that hit Clark County yesterday moved on to Shelby, dropping an EF2 tornado. You can see the damage there is widespread tonight after winds up to 125 miles per hour tore through there. One farm owner there came home to his horses shaken and shivering from that storm, found them on the loose in a nearby field, one stuck in a ditch and so terrified he couldn't catch them tonight. The animals, though, are OK, but the barn they lived in was flattened. Thankfully, no deaths have been reported. Fox 45 meteorologist Mike Joyce tracked the path of this tornado as it moved north. Mike, what can you tell us about the strength of it? That's right. This supercell thunderstorm was one of the strongest and most prolific supercells to impact Ohio within the last couple of years. It developed in Montgomery County just before three o'clock, and here it is at three o'clock yesterday when it was just about to become tornado warned in Clark County. Here's 3:15 p.m. There's the tornado warning. We can see the hook on this cell right as it's dropping that EF0 tornado uh, just northwest of Springfield, then moving into portions of Champaign County, still with that signature hook echo on the. Radar, and this is at 3:35 p.m. Then 90 miles away, in almost just over an hour, that storm makes a haul through Marion, Ohio, toward Shelby, which is in northern Richland County, north of Mansfield, about five miles north of the OSU Mansfield campus there. And this is where it did the EF. Uh, two damage. We can see that hook shrouded in rain right there. This is at 440 PM yesterday, but it wasn't done yet. Then a tornado warning issued for Lorraine County. That's in between Sandusky and Cleveland, and then still as a strong thunderstorm over the western suburbs of Cleveland at 545, which was three hours later from when it first developed right over downtown Dayton. It traveled 160 miles in those three hours. An absolutely incredible storm that did drop two tornadoes across the state, but we're not talking about severe weather here in the Miami Valley tonight. It's beautiful. It's calm, but chilly 46 degrees. The wind out of the south southwest at six miles per hour. Not much moisture in the air right now. Our hour by hour forecast tomorrow is rather pleasant, but cool in the morning. 41 degrees at 8 a.m. Sunrise at 658 58 degrees at 10 a.m. Turns into 67 at noon, but the wind tomorrow cranking up in the afternoon, especially between noon and noon and four. I'm expecting wind speeds between 15 and 20 miles per hour. Our high temperature will be 71 at 4 p.m for the evening commute and then temperatures in the 60s through the evening and sunset at 816 tomorrow night. High temperature breakdown across the Miami Valley. Cooler in Bell Fountain, 68 tomorrow, 71 for Sydney, 70 in Wapakoneta and Salina. Moving south, 73 for Troy, 71 for Springfield and Urbana, even Greenville at 71. I'm looking at 71 across Montgomery County through Dayton, 73 for Xenia, 74 in Springboro and Middletown. A very warm day indeed. And Wednesday will be great too, 76, a few more clouds, but no rain expected on Wednesday. On Thursday, though, this is going to be our next major weather maker to contend with. As low pressure approaches the Miami Valley, Thursday afternoon could bring us a few showers. Here's 2 p.m. Thursday, just some light rain, but in the evening closer to midnight, here's midnight Friday. We're seeing some yellows off to our west that could indicate some thunder in the forecast. This pushes out of here and by Friday we'll have some on and off showers Saturday 2 59, but then Easter Sunday 68 degrees. We are looking at some cool temperatures in the morning 44 for early services 62 by lunchtime 68 at 4 p.m. on Easter Sunday. No rain expected there and then we're back up to 75 next month.